everyone, it's that time of year. We have the Sephora Savings Event. April 5th through April 15th, 30% off all the Sephora collection. April 5th through the 15th also is 20% off for Rouge. That's the first access. Then 4-9, April 9th through April 15th, 15% 15 off for VIB. And then 4-9 to 4-15, April 9th, April 15th, 10% 10 off for Insiders. So it looks like there's really two dates. For Sephora Collection and Rouge, it starts April 5th. And for everybody else, it starts April 9th. That's for the VIB and Insiders. And if you don't know what your rank is, if you're Rouge, VIB, or Insider, if you go into your Sephora account, it should tell you. Depends on how much you spend during the year. April 5th is a Friday, and the 9th is the following Tuesday. Literally, there's a one, two, three, four, five day difference, depending on when you shop on the fifth. If you, there's a bunch of things that you want and they're new. The sale usually starts, I think, at Pacific and then three o'clock in the morning Eastern on the day of the sale. So it would be April 5th. And I think it's 3 a.m., 12 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. But I'm not sure of that because now I can't remember what I've done in previous, because to be honest, the last couple of years, the last couple of sales, I haven't shopped as much at Sephora, so I can't remember that the last couple of sales, I haven't gotten on that early to shop anything because there wasn't anything that I really had to have that I couldn't get somewhere else. But if there is something that you really want that is brand new to the Sephora site, I would say getting online as quickly as possible <laughs> Because they those things do sell out. And to be honest with you, every year, something that I had in mind sells out before I get to it. Because like I said, I'm not jumping on it like immediately. And it's sometimes it's like the newest thing and it makes sense. And then sometimes it's the oddest thing. And you're just like, why did that sell out? Usually it has to do with supply, right? There's a reason somehow that they didn't have enough supply or they had less supply or something. Um, so if there's something that you really want, all I'm saying is you might want to, you might want to check it out earlier than waiting. Especially if you have Rouge, you can start shopping the night or the morning of the 5th. Same thing for the people who are shopping April 9th. I have tons of Sephora recommendation videos and I have them under a, a grouping so you can look them all up. Literally there's tons of them. And there's a lot of products at Sephora that I use and that I like. However, most of them you can find at other retailers and they will match the 20, 15, or 10%. All you have to do is show them that you get 20% off or that you're a Rouge member or whatever. They're very familiar with the sale and they'll match the price. They'll match the 20%, they'll match 15% if you can show them that you have that. The only thing that's different, of course, is that some of the brands don't show up at other retailers. If your brand that you're looking for is like Rare Beauty or Calorie, other Places do have them, but they're not as easily found online somewhere else. At a big store like a Nordstrom or a Saks or a Neiman's or whatever, maybe you want to buy it from Sephora. And so I'm going to talk about a few of those things today. I do have the Soft Pinch Luminous Blushes from Rare Beauty. I have two shades. I have Hope and Cheer, so I'll show you those in case you're interested in those. I also have new products from Charlotte Tilbury. Now, of course, you can get Charlotte Tilbury tons of blazes, including Charlotte Tilbury, but you can get the new Pillow Talk Fair Sephora. So if you're interested, I wanted to get it for you so you guys can take a look at it and see if it's something that you want to pick up compared to like other, other Pillow Talks. Let me talk about what I have on my face right now and then we'll get into those new products and compare them to some old. But like I said, I love a lot of products at, at Sephora. La Mer is there. Tom Ford is there. If you're looking at a new perfume, a lot of the Tom Ford perfumes are very expensive. They're 20% off. If I didn't have every single one of them, I would probably pick up something from Tom Ford. They have the travel sprays, which are great. Again, though, Nordstrom can match that for you. Saks can match that for you, etc. Okay, what I have on my face, I have the Guerlain Watery Oil. They do have this at Sephora. They have it at lots of other retailers. And every once in a while, Guerlain does a sale and they have a loyalty program as well. This watery oil is probably the oldest of primers that I've used. It's not really a primer, of course. It's, it's meant to be a, a skincare product, but I've used it as 
as a primer for a very long time. It plumps up your skin. It makes your skin look more youthful, more dewy. It's great for people who have drier skin. I, I can't speak to it for like oily skin, but for dry skin, skin like mine, it's literally fantastic. It, it gives you all the things that a primer would give you and it plumps everything up. Yes, my hair is curly today and still damp in some places, which is bugging me. But anyway, so plumps up your skin, makes it everything look dewy and it's a really beautiful finish. Over it, I have the Makeup Forever HD Skin Hydro Glow. This is at Sephora. I don't know too many places that have Makeup Forever online. So this is a brand that I would say is probably a decent place to get for 20% off, 15, 10. And the high, the HD Skin, I have the regular HD Skin and I have the Glow is what I prefer because I like more of a glowy finish. This is one pump all over my face. And I have nothing else on my face at the moment, on my skin. So. It gives a great finish. You can build it up, absolutely. You can have more coverage if you want to. I'm gonna do that much. And it. this is the lightest shade. This is Alabaster. I have the zero, I can't remember the name of it, but it's one, it's two, sh one shade up? I think it's one shade, yeah, it's one shade up. That has, it's considered light with rosy undertones. This is very light with neutral. Um, I have that shade in the regular HD, um, not in the glow because I decided to go with the more neutral foundation. Um, I am pretty sure I'm going to buy the step up shade, the one that has the cooler tone, but is a little deeper in the smaller bottle. And what I mean by that is Sephora has, and if you watched my, um, luxury video about what's happening in luxury makeup, you'll know that they have these mini sizes and they have a mini size of the HD foundation, HD glow foundation. So I can try it in a different shade. And you know, if it doesn't work out, then it's not that big of a deal because it's a small bottle. I think it's, I think both shades will probably be good for me, but I think this one is a little pale on my skin, but once I put on bronzer and blush and everything, it looks great because it actually, it does deepen up a tiny bit as you wear it. But at first it does look a little stark. So I'm just gonna try the cooler toned one that's a little bit deeper and just see what happens. Okay, on my eyes, this is the E Saint Laurent. This is, it's now called Saint Laurent, sorry. Saint Laurent Store Dolls, which I've talked about forever. This is a fantastic quad reasonably priced for luxury, really beautiful. It's a cool neutral palette. It looks great on the eye. I only have on two shades. I have on these two shades, that's it, just two. And cause I was just trying to do an easy look today. Um, I'll tell you about the liner in a minute, but literally it's really beautiful. It's very simple to use. It's a beautiful palette. The formula in here is excellent. Um, any of the Saint Laurent palettes, the new ones are great. Store Dolls is probably my favorite. I like the cool neutral. I like the fact that it goes with everything. It's a very shimmery palette. It's just, it's really pretty. And honestly, at 20% off, if I didn't already have all of them, I would definitely buy it because it's absolutely worth it at its regular price. So 20% off, it's absolutely phenomenal. The liner is from Rare Beauty. This is the brown liner from Rare Beauty. And yeah, the Rare Beauty products are really good. This is very easy to put on. It just, it glides. You can see it's, there's no real pressure there. So super easy to use for people who have difficulty with drier liners. This is a very smooth, creamy liner and it does stay. It's not as, it's not one of the ones like a, like the Chanel's where really it just doesn't come off no matter what you do, but it's a good, staying liner. Um, you will find that it comes off easier than the Chanel's, but they don't have Chanel at, uh, they don't have the Chanel liners at, at Sephora. So, but I like the Rare Beauty one for the ease of it. It really just goes on super easy. Mascara is Calorae. I am going to buy some small Calorae's uh, because I do find with the Calorae mascara, the only downside that I've ever found with it, it does seem to dry out a little faster than some other mascaras, like not super fast, but like four months, it starts to, to, to dry out a little bit. I get rid of mine at six months period anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. But while it's working, the stuff is amazing. Like it just, it, it gives everything you'd want in a mascara. It lengthens, it volumizes, and this stuff does not smudge. It didn't come off in a rainstorm that I was in Boston, so 
it's absolutely amazing, but it just seems to dry out a little faster. So I'm gonna buy small ones because that way I, I'll have it used up by the time it, it dries out a little bit. Under my eyes, I have the Westman Atelier powder. Um, we'll get into Westman Atelier a little bit uh, more in a few minutes because I'm gonna talk about lip products and their new lip product. And I'm gonna go into a little detail there, but this is the pink, I've talked about this powder. And Westman Atelier is, is expensive. Uh, this is $75. It is, oh, I'm just looking at the size, 0.17 ounces. Not a lot of, a decent amount of product for what this is, like what you use it for, but still $75 is a lot of money. So if you're gonna get it on sale, this is a great time to do, to get it. I use it mostly under my eyes, this particular powder. You can use, you can use it anywhere. This is an Angie Hot and Flashy brush, one of the best brushes out there for concealer in my opinion and they just pat it in and it brightens the under eye. If you wanna use it all over the face, if you're somebody who has you know, a cool tone or lighter skin, it absolutely does work. I wouldn't use this if you have more of a warm yellow tone that won't look quite as right. But yeah, you can use it all over the face too. You can use it with powder puff, which I will do, or of course, you know, a big fluffy brush. My favorite found is still the Dolce & Gabbana powder. But they do not have the Dolce & Gabbana powder at, at Sephora, at least not that I'm aware of. Okay, on my lips is the new Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Big Lip Plump Gasm. Yes, that is what it's called. And this is in Pillow Talk Fair Medium. Uh, I'll show it to you, it is on my lips now. I will say two things. I like the, the bottle's cool. Like I like the way that it's designed. It's got the, the pink quilting at the top, all that good stuff. The doe foot is great. Love the doe foot. However, when you put it on, it stings. And to be honest, it still stings. And I've had it on now for 30 minutes, close to 30 minutes, and it still stings. Now, my lips are unusually dry. My skin used to be as, as dry as my lips are. Not anymore. Now my skin is just regular to dry, but my lips have always, I breathe out of my mouth. I think it's just, that's the way it is. And so my lips are, are dry, but yeah, this stings, continues to sting. And to be honest, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just feeling it. Yeah, it still stings. It doesn't, I don't think my lips look bigger. I think my lips look exactly the same as they always do. So for me, I don't know, like, I don't think I would buy that again. It's not a bad product. The color is actually very pretty, but it's just, it stings a little too much for me. The Ole Hendrickson product that I've talked about before, this is a great product. This is a Pout Preserve Peptide Lip Treatment. This is in Cocoa. There's a strawberry. There's like a limited edition one too, but I really like this and I like the color of this one. If, if you're interested, I'll, I'll make sure all the links are below, but like I said, this one doesn't sting. It also is not, it doesn't claim to pump up your lips, make them plumper. It's just like a comforting treatment, but I like it a lot more. And I like the color of this one. Now I haven't tried the strawberry or the, it's like mango something. I can't remember the name of it, but there are others. So you should check them out. Now, before I get into the lip thing, cause I'm gonna get into Charlotte Tilbury, other lipsticks that came out that are in the Pillow Talk Fair. But I also want to talk about Prada for a second, because we're gonna talk about the Westman Atelier lips, the Prada lips, that in general. So Prada is available at Sephora. I would highly recommend the eyeshadows. I've done several videos with the Prada eyeshadows. I really like those. It's a very different formula than a lot of other eyeshadows. It's got the soft matte, the hyper matte in there very shimmery shades as well, and then the satin. I really think they're really good quads. The one thing I would say is there's always a, quote, unusual shade in there, something bright, something different, like a blue or a green or a yellow. And if you're somebody who only wears neutrals and would never use that shade, it's a waste to buy the, the Pradas because if you're not gonna use one of the four shades that's in there, then I wouldn't suggest you know spending your money on that. There's many other neutral palettes that you can buy that are really good, um, where you know you won't feel like you're leaving something out. 
The Pradas are refillable. They're $80. And I actually have some of my Pradas in the declutter sale that's going on as this video goes up. The first day of the sale was April 1st and I will be putting up, and actually my sister's doing most of the work at this point, putting up different like groups of product throughout, it's probably a couple weeks, maybe a week or two. One, because I wanna see how it works and if we have any glitches that we have to work out, but also two, in case like something sells and then someone doesn't pay or, or doesn't pay for shipping or whatever, I can just take that product and put it up in the, the next grouping. So I think overall, there's definitely a hundred products. There's probably more. So maybe four or five, we'll have these days go up. When this video goes up, it will have already happened. The way I have it now is, People, the paid Patreon members get it at seven o'clock. They would have gotten it at seven o'clock on the first and then open to the public at 9 p.m. In future ones, I might make it closer in time. I, I'm looking forward to feedback, so you guys can let me know. But the Prada stuff is absolutely great. And the Prada foundation I own, it's excellent. It meshes right with your skin. It's the best non-glowy foundation that I have. It's not really matte. It's like a, it, They do call it like a satin matte, which again, I always feel is weird but it does have that kind of feel to it it feels very much like skin it's a really beautiful foundation um definitely worth buying and it's refillable as well so you can get the refill when you use it up so that's really a great product um, in addition to the eyeshadows all right so now before we get to the charlotte tilbury i have the lip sheet i have the liner and i also have the new lipstick i want to show um pillow talk this is a very old pillow talk. As you can see, I used a lot of it. It's a good shade. Um, pillow talk's a good shade, which is why it became iconic. And this is the new pillow talk light in the kissing formula. So it's a different formula. Um, it's not the, the matte formula. Um, and this is for fair. So I think you can see it's a much pinker version than the Pillow Talk next to it. And then the liner, which is also Pillow Talk Fair, you can see it would match original Pillow Talk, but definitely works with this. Before I put that on and then get to the Rare Beauty highlighting blushes, I wanna talk a little bit about matte lipsticks, velvet lipsticks, and it makes sense to talk about this in reference to the original Pillow Talk. When Charlotte Tilbury came out with her formula, her mattes, which was the, you have a different shape of the lip bullet. I'll put the shape up because this has been, this shape is far gone now. It's like a rectangle versus the more pointed teardrop shape of the kissing formula. And it is to this day, one of the best quote, matte formulas out there. It doesn't feel like matte. It feels very smooth. It feels great on the lips. It never feels irritating, at least not to me. And the only thing that, that I would say comes close is the Lisa Eldridge, the velvet lipsticks. But again, it's a different formula. That's velvet. This isn't, this is a matte, supposedly a matte. Now, when she says matte, I think what she means is there's no shimmer, there's no shine, there's no luminescence to it but it doesn't leave a flat finish. And like I said, it feels super comfortable on the lips. I really, I love this formula. The only formula that has come out recently that I like as much is the Chanel's. Now I do have the Chanel's. These are the limited edition. These are not available at Sephora. And I have all the shades that I wanted to pick up really. They are, like I said, limited edition, and they are considered velvets instead of mattes. So another thing to, to keep in mind, this is the 07, which sold out for a while and then recently came back. And you can see it has a similar almost look to it. Like it's very easy to go on. It's very comfortable. It does not feel, it does not feel like a velvet. It doesn't feel like a matte, but it doesn't really have luminescence or shine like a satin wood or a gloss wood. It's a matte finish, but the formula is much more creamy. The Chanel Nuise, these velvets, they don't feel that different to me than a Chanel lipstick. Um, 
of the regular line, but I would say that the finish is a little bit different. I think they're very comfortable and I think they're really nice on the lips. They are very expensive, especially because they're limited edition and have limited edition packaging. So for the for Sephora sale, there's the Prada and there's the Westman Atelier. Now, now the Westman Atelier, I have one shade and the shade that I picked up was, okay, I'm gonna try to get this right, Je Rêve. I'm, that's as close as I'm gonna get, which in English is I Dream. And it's a beautiful shade and the packaging is amazing. So it's the typical Westman Atelier packaging. Um, it's got this beautiful, like the hearts that she does embossed on the lipstick. The case has like the gold uh, on the inside. It's got magnetic closure. It's got the Westman Atelier. She does a fantastic job making sure that everything is looks exactly the same and has that same sleekness. And when you put this on your lips or your hand, I can tell you, it feels like silk, literally. It's so smooth, goes on so easily, so quick and so pigmented that when I first put it on my lips, I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be my new favorite lipstick of all time. The problem is after a little while, at least on me, you start to feel and taste the clay that's in there. There's can canolin, I forget the, I'll make sure the right name is down below, clay in it. It also has hyaluronic acid and some other things. I'm telling you, look at how smooth that is. You saw me put it on, it, it goes, it glides like nothing you've ever seen. But in order to keep it from bleeding uh, or smudging, there's the, the clay in there to keep it on your lips and not smudge and not bleed. And it doesn't, it does not bleed at all. So it's really pretty impressive. You can just put it all over your lips. You don't need a liner, it will not bleed. However, if you have really dry lips like mine, at least, I can, again, I can only speak for myself. After a little while, I found it annoying because I could like, there was like the feeling of clay. I could like feel pieces of clay, almost taste like little gritty things of, of clay. So that bugged me. It looked beautiful. Like I said, it gl when you first put it on, it glides beautifully. So I tried it with lip liners and I tried it with specifically Lisa Eldridge's lip liners. And I found that if I put a lip liner underneath it, actually like the whole lip, and then I put that over it, it was fine. I didn't have a problem. I could still taste the clay a little bit, but it didn't make my lips feel uncomfortable. If I put it on by itself, like I said, it feels beautiful at first. And then after a while, my, my lips got drier. And I think it's that clay that's in there. The clay, if you put like a clay mask, it soaks up oil and moisture. So if you put it on your lips and your lips are extremely dry like mine are, I think that's the problem. So again, I really love it at first and I love the, the glide and everything else. And I think if you have, if your skin is normal to oily or your lips are not dry, I think you're gonna really like this because it doesn't bleed, it glides right on, it has a nice scent. Like it's, it's very minimal, it's just pleasant. I think you'll really like it, but I think if you have dry lips like mine, it's it's gonna bother you, or at least it did me. So I haven't really made up my mind how I feel about it yet. I have to keep trying it. I think I need to get another shade. The thing is they are $50 a piece, so it's a lot of money for testing, but I need to try it with more lip liners and see if I wear it with a lip liner, maybe it's fine. But the thing is, again, the whole point is you don't need a lip liner because it's got the clay in it. Mm, so I haven't, again, it's not a, it's not a no for me, but it's not a, it's not a yes. It's one of those things that I'd have to keep trying it. Maybe my lips were particularly dry that day. I don't know. But the first experience of putting it on feels fantastic. And uh, it glides on, it's incredibly pigmented. It's really a nice feeling, but then the clay just, I think it's just too drying for my lips. So then we have the Prada lipsticks. Now we have the, I only have two shades at the moment, but different formulas. So I have the soft matte and then, is it the hyper matte? I'll make sure, I can't really see it. The font on some of these things, like I used to have great eyesight. Now I only have like average eyesight, but still, I don't know how you'd see this, like it's, it's tiny. So the hyper matte that I have, yeah, I have the hyper matte and then I have the soft matte. And I wanted to get the two formulas because I think when I first looked at it, I thought there was, I, I was thinking hyper matte, like more matte. It's it's really not. <laughs> so this is the hyper matte in B, make sure I have the right number, B15. 
And if you haven't seen them, they have that Safiano leather finish to the bag, from the bag on the lipstick, which I think is cool. All right. Or the nylon finish. So look at how pigmented that is. That's the Hypermap. Very smooth, incredibly pigmented, super pigmented. And the way you can tell the difference between the Hyper Matte and the Soft Matte, by the way, the, the Hyper Matte has the gold bezel around it, and the Soft Matte has just the silver. I love the packaging. Prada did a really good job with that. Prada did a really good job with their whole line. Not only does it look good, but it works. The Soft Matte I have in B101. I definitely will pick up another Soft Matte. They came out with new shades. They were on the Sephora site, so hopefully they're still on the Sephora site. And you can see, like that one looks, if you notice the difference between the soft matte and the um, hyper matte, can you see how this looks like a little more sheer? It's not just the colors lighter, because yes, I, the colors are lighter, but it's a sheerer finish than the hyper matte. Hyper matte is pigmented. Both of them feel really great on the lips. I don't have any problem with even the, the Hyper Matte. I would pick up the Hyper Matte again if there's a, I'm gonna look at the new shades that they have, and I would pick up a, a Soft Matte. Those are definite yeses for me. They're really well done. Like I said, it depends on whether you want a sheer finish or a pigmented finish like the Lisa Eldridge Velvets. Yeah, it actually reminds me of Lisa Eldridge Velvets. That's what it reminds me of, the Hyper. And just super comfortable, easy to wear. They're, they're definitely a yes. Everything from the Prada collection that I have tried is a yes for me. So let me put on the lip cheat in Pillow Talk Fair, and then we'll put on the lipstick so you can see how that looks on me and decide if that's something that you want to pick up at the Sephora Zip. All right, that's the Pillow Talk Light Liner. And let's put on the lipstick. I do notice there's a little bit of, this is interesting because this is the original, like this is old. This is the old Pillow Talk. Notice the color difference in the packaging. Isn't that interesting? Pillow Talk light, all right. Here we go. Now again, this is the kissing formula, so it's not the matte formula. Okay, so that's the Pillow Talk. It is, it's like a, Pillow Talk Light, Pillow Talk Fair, I'm sorry. It's a very light pink. On me, it's a, I don't know what you'd call it. I like it, it's not that I don't like it, but it's much lighter, it's much pinker than Pillow Talk, which has more of that. It was the, Pillow Talk was the first one to have a pinky brown, you know, lipstick blow up, became incredibly popular. All right. Let's get to the Rare Beauty. So these are the Soft Pinch Luminous Powder Blushes, an airy silky powder blush that brings instant life to your cheeks with a fresh radiant flush that lasts. 0.098 ounces, 2.8 grams. Now you probably heard the news that um, Selena Gomez is considering selling her brand. And if she does, things will likely change if you're if you love her brand like I do, you might wanna buy stuff now. So I have her liquid highlighters, her, her liquid blushes, her powder highlighters, the eyeliner that I showed you. I pretty much have all the products from Rare Beauty. I really like the brand. I like the brand for two reasons. One, I think it's reasonably priced. These new luminous blushes are $26. They're really well made. Her formulas are really good. Not, I don't like everything that they have, but I like a lot of it. The formulas are really good. And what she has done because she suffers from an autoimmune condition is that all of her packaging is easy to open. And that actually is a big deal because there's a lot of people out there who have difficulty with mobility issues. And opening packaging for your makeup can be very difficult. There are some products that I have that I cannot get open and it's really annoying. Like she made her liquid blushes, she has this top and it looks like it's just a design feature, but because it's this pebble, this round pebble, it's relatively easy to grab and then open. You don't have to pull here. It, it, it's like a comfort to opening. It's, it's really very easy. And her palettes, if you notice, they have this wide kind of thing and they don't, you don't require a tremendous amount of strength to actually open them up. They're just, they're pretty easy. And 
I like that fact because sometimes I have problems with my left hand. I crushed it in a door a very long time ago. But anyway, I don't want to talk about that. So I really like her products for those two reasons. I think, well, three reasons. The formula is good, the price is good, and I like her, you know, her packaging. These new luminous powder blushes basically took her highlighters, and I only have one. I have it in Enlighten. The only reason I have one and not more is I have her liquid highlighters in three different shades, and I like those so much, and I'm never going to use them up because she gives you way more than you'll ever need. <laughs> At this point, I want to use those first because those will go bad first. The creams will go bad first, then the powders. So I'm trying to get through those. I know it sounds odd, but yeah. Her blushes and this. So that was the idea. This is Hope. So this is, I got one of the shades, is, is Hope. And then this is Enlighten, which is her whitish, pinkish, light pink, white shade. And so I'm going to show you what Hope is um, in the liquid blush. And if you've never used this product, I will tell you, you do not need, you need like one dot. Seriously. Like, no joke. That's way too much for your face. But I want to show you the shade on the back of my hand. Um, and then Enlighten, like I said, is like the whitest shade. And I will show you how pigmented that is as a highlighter. Their, her stuff is super pigmented. And again, that has to go with like mobility things. You don't want to have to continuously build something up. You want to make it really easy to put on. You can see how pigmented the Enlighten is. So when she came out with these, the idea was to combine that and have a very luminous, silky highlighting blush. And I can tell you the one thing about the highlighters, like this Enlighten, when you put your finger on this, go into a Sephora store, buy one, whatever you're going to do, feel it. There's very little I've ever felt that's like this. It is so silky. Like your finger just slides across it, like literally it's, and you get pigment. It's super, super smooth and super silky and very pigmented. All our stuff is. So I'm going to assume these are going to be like that. I have felt them. They are super silky, but I don't know if how pigmented they are. We're about to find out. So now this shade is a, a new shade. This is Cheer. And Cheer is Selena's custom shade. It's a light, warm pink. And it's probably the, it's probably the lightest, I think, of the ones she come, came up with. It's very pretty. And I'll put it here as well because there's so much on the back of my hand now you might not be able to see the true color of it and then the next one and i'll show you the, the palette in just a second is hope and hope is the shade that i have right there so there's hope and here's cheer so I'm going to use them both on my face, but I'm going to use Cheer first so that you can see it, um, you know, because it's a lighter shade uh, before I put the Hope on it. But I think you can see, like, this shade is Hope, and the liquid is so pigmented. That was, like, one little touch. I mean, it's there's so much to the liquid blushes that... Unless you're somebody who uses blush all the time and you have like one, I would even recommend buying, I don't know, maybe if they have the minis, get the minis. Because I mean, there's, it's so pigmented. I don't, the, the powders are that way too, but the, this will eventually go bad because it is a liquid and honestly, I've never seen anything that pigmented. All right, so let's go in with Cheer. And like I said, Cheer is a light warm pink. And then Hope is a nude mauve. Let's see how this looks on my skin tone. And I'm just going in lightly because wow, that's beautiful. If you don't like a luminous product, I assume you're not picking up a luminous blush because it says it right in the name that this is basically a combination of her blushes and her highlighters. So you're going to know just from the get-go that's a very luminous product. There you go. That's Cheer.
The shade that I also thought about picking up was Joy, which is a muted peach. Happy is a cool pink. Truth is a mauve maroon. And Love is a terracotta. I would say if you are pale like I am, the Happy, the Truth, and the Love are all really pigmented. They, I think they'll look beautiful on, on everybody. But just be aware that it, it's going to be, it's going to stand out a lot on your face. Joy is, it's a muted peach. So Joy, that's the one I'm probably going to pick up during the sale. I really loved the terracotta, which is love. And I really liked the happy, which is a cool pink because it's, it's a beautiful shade. Truth was a little too deep for me. Even like, even lately, like I think for me, like I don't do a lot of blush, so that's too much. But again, they're, they're very pigmented. They're very pigmented. Uh, I think these will sell out a little faster because her brand is incredibly popular, especially um, in a wide variety of age ranges. And it's $26. It's a good price point. So I think it'll sell out faster. Just heads up. Okay. Hope. Like I said, this is a nude mauve and I'm going to put it a little bit more here on the cheek. See how pigmented that is? And I just touched my face. Like really, I'm not. If you saw how lightly I'm touching the brush to my face. So again, these are beautiful, um, but they are very luminous. And the thing about a highlighter, any highlighter, it's gonna show your texture. Now, if you can see, on my face, you can see my pores. Here's the thing though, guys, we all have them. <laughs> it's natural to have pores. If you are looking at a picture of someone and they have no pores or they have no lines, then first of all, you know it's, there's a filter on that thing. But second of all, that's not how people look in real life. I don't mind, I don't mind a, a highlighter showing that I have texture. However, I don't have a tremendous amount of extra texture to my skin. It's the normal pores. We all have, I have lines, things. But if you're somebody who feels self-conscious about whatever texture you have on your skin, I really wouldn't recommend a luminous blush or a highlighter on this part of your face. Like that, it, it is going to draw attention to that. And if you feel uncomfortable with it, then that's okay. I would go with a, I'd go with a, a matte or maybe even a satin matte blush. And there's tons of really good ones out there, but I wouldn't go with something this luminous, this highlighty, because Yes, it does, you know, you do see that. It draws attention to it because again, it's, it's highlighting. Your, your eye goes like right to that. I love these. I think they're beautiful. I would not wear a highlighter with them. I might even tone them down with a little bit of foundation. So you just take your foundation brush. Go over it a little bit so you get that glow, but a little bit, take off a little bit of the color. It just depends on what works for you, but I I will definitely buy the Joy. I, I'm trying to, to not buy all of them because I don't need them and I'm on my low buy, but there is the Sephora sale and I am a Rouge member. I buy a lot of makeup, obviously. So I would get 20% off all of them, which is, that's as much as they're ever gonna go on sale. So it is a really good deal. I won't buy the Truth because that is too deep for me. Like I wouldn't wear it but the happy and the love and the joy, I mean, they're just so pretty. And I love the way they look. They really make you look like they're very, they're very healthy look. Again, though, you know, the way I'm gonna use them, I wouldn't even use this brush. This is a, a Sonia G soft cheek brush, so like a soft airbrush look. I might use more of a brush like this, which is the Wayne Goss. It's very, this is meant to be like a very airy light application or even a very soft brush like some of the ones I have the fox brushes or the gray scroll brushes that are super soft because I this is fine but I wouldn't want any more than this and like I said her stuff is so pigmented which I think is great because it everyone can use it but for somebody who's really pale and doesn't wear a lot of blush you just have to keep that in mind the pillow talk fair I really like it it's a pink it's a pink and i don't usually pink on me but this one's actually pretty nice i do like it it's not my favorite i still like pillow talk the regular pillow talk more 
I do this pink. It's it's Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk. The liner is nice. She has good liners. I've used her liners for years. I think I like the pillow talk shade a little bit more, but again, this one's nice. This, like I said, it's a, it's a pretty shade and I like the packaging. That's cool but it does sting, at least to me, guys. I don't know, it's just a little too stingy for me. The matte lipsticks, if you're gonna get one, my opinion, at Sephora anyway, go with the Pradas. Um, soft matte if you want something a little more sheer, hyper if you want something more pigmented. The Westman Atelier, if you have really dry lips, I'm just, all I'm saying is to caution you about the clay that's in there. You need to try it out for yourself, but they're $50, so with 20% off, they're 40 bucks still. I might buy another one to test it, but you can feel, at least I can feel the clay and my lips do get dry as the day goes on. There are many products on Sephora and it would take hours to go through them all. Check out the other videos if you have questions. And if you have any specific questions for me, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'll answer as many as I possibly can. Last thing to note, like I said, is if you're, if you get notes at Nordstrom or you're part of the loyalty program at Neiman's or Saks, your essays will match the sale price at four, just FYI. So thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in another video really soon.